First the top headlines, anybody who fails to give bow to TH Basanta will be considered as cheater, says Chief Minister N. Biden. Both rally taken out at various places demanding normalcy before election. Assam's former IPS officer Adan Mirsha to contest elections independently after BJP denies ticket. ED files second money laundering case against TMC leader Mahal Mutra. Joe Biden outraged and heartbroken by Israeli airstrike in Gaza. Curfew relax in Nepal East West Tobal District till 10 pm for Kakching District till 8 pm in Vishnupur District. Curfew has been relaxed till 5 pm today. Good afternoon, you're watching 3PM LG English News. This is Mutum Lang Lenton giving you the news in detail. Thought rally has been taken out at various places of Imphal West District demanding normalcy before election. Last night, a thought rally has been organized jointly by Rural United Club Organization, Imphal West District Women Wing, and Imphal West District United Clubs Organization at Haibong Pokpi, Women Folk of Haibong Pokpi, Sanjay Bam, Lambal, Lamshang, Awang Lekai and Lairen Kabi took part in the rally. Many slogans shouted by the women folk demanding internal displaced persons should be returned to their respective homes. No election needed when people are in trauma. Speaking to LHB News, the women folk strongly condemned for organizing election at this critical juncture. They would not participate in the election until and unless all the displaced persons are returned to their respective homes. Belip kem de lai jari ba awan awan ata raba tang du lai tana lai tri ba parja mayam se tang du lai tana lai hala lai hala ba matung da magi magi imung da tang du lai tana lai hara matung de koi gi election se sin biu na tra ba di e koi parja mayam na election se da saruk ja ba ngam zaroi hai ba gi matang da e koi impal wes hai ba di lai reng kabi san jen ba ari lam ban awo lam sang awang lai kai hai bong kupi kun manga sina. I quite am a toy book, Hongzang, the young Zander, a high river, Tangdu Laita, the buzz, a little game, the lady, but Parza, Miam, say Tangdu Laita, and Mayum, Mayum, the Lehend River Power, I quite poor say, Saruk Jazaroi, Hibergit, the Mokta, I quite a city, my area, Lisa Sinjavani. On the other hand, at Lamsang Bajar, Lamsang Bajar, Apunba Maira Pai, we also take out to rally with the same slogans. Women folk of Lamden Kuno, like Amkul, and Lamsang took part in the rally. Speaking to media persons, a woman folk say they will not participate in the election if the normalcy is not returned in Manipur. With the same demand, women folk of Lamdeng, Lai Gam Kun, Mayang Langjing, Luang Yi Tong Kong, Lamdeng Kuno also taken out to a rally last night. The women folk shouted various slogans. Speaking to LATV News, the women folk said they will not take part in the election until and unless normalcy is not here in Manipur. More on the news. National President of RPIA Ramdas Atwale has said that all possible support will be extended to the inner Manipur parliamentary candidate of Manipur Maheshwar Thongnausam in the upcoming Lok Sabha election. 
a video clip issued by him, he further mentioned that Maheshwar is contributing what it may be possible from his side. The president also mentioned that chances of winning in this election for Maheshwar is very high. Maheshwar अपने पारंपारिक समुदाय के लिए तो उन्होंने बहुत बड़ा काम किया है हमेशा मेरे संपर्क में रहते हैं अपने समाज की बात करते हैं और मणिपुर के विकास की बात उन्होंने हमेशा की है मणिपुर को न्याय मिलना चाहिए और मैं रिपब्लिकन पार्टी ऑफ इंडिया के राष्ट्रीय अध्यक्ष के नाते मैं उनका बहुत उनके ऊपर प्यार भी करता हूं बहुत अच्छा ये नौजवान है अगर वो चुनकर आने का मौका उनको मिलता है आपकी जनता मणिपुर की जनता उनको मौका दे देती है जरूर लोकसभा में बहुत सारे विषयों पर वो आवाज उठाएगा बहुत विषयों पर वो आपको न्याय देने के लिए काम करता रहेगा बहुत सारे प्रोजेक्ट मणिपुर के लिए लाने का प्रयत्न करेगा और उसको पूरा सहयोग देने का काम मैं करने वाला हूँ A delegate of Manipur University of Culture took part in the recently concluded 37th Inter-University National Youth Festival headed at Punjab Agricultural University from March 28 to April 1. The delegate backed many prizes in various competitions. Interestingly, the delegate backed second position in overall dance championship. The festival was held with the team Hunar 2024 Harvesting National Talent. The delegate was comprising with 28 members of teachers and students. Various cultural items of Manipur team was one of the main attractions in the festival. College of Agriculture, Irui Simba Central Agricultural University, Manipur today organized one day farmers awareness program on scientific method of lack cultivation for additional farmer scheme was held at the conference hall of the university at Irui Simba. Dean of College of Agriculture Professor Indira Sharangtem, PI of the project Kao Dr. K. I. Shing and Professor Horticulture Kao Dr. Yu Chauba attended as men guests. Many farmers from various parts of the state took part in the program. Addressing the gathering, Professor Indira said the project will be very useful to the farmers of Manipur. The cultivation of LAC, Jubakushum, will be very beneficial to the farmers. If any farmers wanted to discuss on the matters, see appeal to the farmers to contact Professor Ibohal. Sempai besar sing si, aku ini nak kembali na proses tau raga di magi cagi produk ni anda sih nagi ni hari bagi kain wasi aku ini wasi aduh wasi bawa di aduh gigi kudung sabar leh di projek si ta only si gigi cultivate kembali tau tu gigi aise aduh aku ini jam jam nasi di amna aku ini labour sang daba aku ini manpower yang sang daba adi host plan tu aku ini identify tau raga ni na aduh gigi jubah musim masih thar raga jubah musim tak aku ini ama atau ambil tu nanti ko aku ini asam bido Asal di kudo spino musa itu, moro lagi ni sih kena itu, aduh gigi moro lagi ni kena itu tu juga. Sumpah kita sih leh isesi thar, agak leh sih produce atau agak di sih gigi any sanhar group, any community farming community group amna, eh sih aku yang hau lagi juga. Sumpah thar agak hari kedua tak tahu. Boleh kata mana bilau leh leh formation tu orang baca, pengangkatan tu di. Pagi baca tu, kui tak tadi. Bual tu semua tak boleh. So, kalau kita nak kui nak lesson lagi, noi nak yo lagi, kui nak lay lagi, aduh di noi income tu generate tu lepas na. As continuation of vaccination of anti-rabies under the supervision of all Manipur United Clubs Organisation (AMCO) in Far East District, United Clubs Organisation today held a vaccination program at Sanjambam Kul. 
Altogether, 70 pets, including dogs and cats, were vaccinated. Many distinguished persons of the organization, club and local volunteers took part in the program. The said program will be continued at different other places. Now it's time for a short break. Stay there. We'll be right back. Manipur Ghi Ahanba Dedicated Cancer Hospital, AOI Bavina Specialty Hospital, the Medical Oncology, Surgical Oncology, Advanced Operation Theatre Galoina, Cancer Patient Singh, Affordable Cost, Mapung Faraba Care, Pizari, Side Effect Hantaba, Manipur Ghi Ahanba, Linic Halcyon Radiation Machine Ghi Kudong Chaba, Kangbikani, Cancer Kangdok Naba, Amasung Stays Lay Pada Sizen Naba, Bad CT Scan Machine, So Hospital Asida Lady, Tumor Board Pamduna, Patient Singh Ghi Laying Pathapta, Ahinba Kudong Chaba, Loina, Health Card Ghi Kudong Chaba, So Pizari, Mayam Ghi Damag, AOI. Bavina Speciality Hospital, Sajiwa Kabe Soi, Imphal East. Welcome you all to Yunapa School Chanum, Imphal East, a fully residential school ranked Manipur number one in All India School Ranking Awards 2023-24 by Education World and Co-Education Boarding School category. Academic session for 2024-25 will begin on 1st April 2024. Registrations are open for classes 4 to 9. Hurry up for registration. Gear up for the future with Quantum University. Write your success story with our new age programs that shall be amongst the top three most rewarding careers in India and across the globe in the next decade. One of the reasons why Quantum is a leading private university in India is these world-class partnerships which makes it stand out among the rest. Welcome back from the break. You're watching LATV English News. Chief Minister of Manipur, Anbiran, has said that in the coming Lok Sabha election, whomsoever fails to cast their vote to TH Bashanta Kumar, BJP candidate of in a Manipur parliamentary constituency, will be considered as a cheater. He said this during a program organized by BJP Mahila Morcha held at Thambal Shanglen today. President of BJP Manipur Pradesh, A. Sharda Devi, National General Secretary, Abey Kumar, President of Mahila Morcha, Lotika Laima, Vice President and Nimbush and many party executive members took part in the program. In his speech, Chief Minister Anbiran further said, though people are criticizing about the silence of Prime Minister Narendra Modi on the present issue of Manipur. However, he had done everything for the state of Manipur. Giving example what Narendra Modi did for the state of Manipur, Chief Minister further said free movement regime has been cancelled. ILP has been implemented in the state. Besides, border fencing has been done and NRC is to be implemented soon in the state. Seeing all this, if anybody, he or she fails to cause a boot to TH Bashanta Kumar, will be considered as cheater, he added. Reality Politics tau gaya di sincere hoyo. Bukshen hana shengo, hamoy hana shengo. Adu ka nationalism nari baat na zati nu shivgi wakulle. Ani zile re di politics tau. Na chale dum thika tau na yula kano bolle pakano. Adu nu kano kari kabar kari tau gaya dum na yu na hai. Maram di ma bukshen dum amina politics sanga pakanda lega ang eh. Doctor amana aran ba tau bata 
Assam's <laughs> Lakim First Superintendent of Police SP Anand Mishra, who earlier had announced his resignation from the Indian Police Service ISP to dedicate himself to social service through politics, expressed his decision to contest election independently or from any other political party following his denial of a ticket from the Bharatiya Janata Party, BJP. Mishra, in his official announcement, affirmed his intention to contest the upcoming election from the Baksar constituency, stating it as a matter of self-respect for the people of Baksar. Despite not securing a ticket from the BJP, Mishra asserted his determination to participate in the electoral process, willing to run as an independent candidate or align with any other political party. Speaking in a Facebook Live session, Mishra conveyed his gratitude for the positive reception from the public, which further motivated his transition into politics. I have decided my part and I have come to serve society through political means. I am determined to contest the election, he said, highlighting his active involvement in social activities and the overwhelming support he received from the community. Expressing disappointment over not receiving guidance and party support, Mishra highlighted his commitment to serving the people irrespective of party affiliations. Joining politics is not my sole intention, rather it is to serve the people, he added. Mishra's decision to contest elections, he stated, is rooted in the need to combat corruption and uphold the interests of the cons constituents. I have decided that this election, it is not about me, but about the people of Bakshar. Mishra stated firmly, signaling his determination to prioritize the welfare of his constituency. With a resolute tone, he concluded, just know that I am contesting the elections that is sure and final. The governor of Asham has declared paid holidays for the general election to Lok Sabha 2024. Balipu Kalyan Chakarvati, Principal Secretary to the Labor Welfare Department, Government of Assam, issued a notification on April 2 detailing the arrangements. The notification states that the paid holiday will be observed on three crucial dates corresponding to the phases of Lok Sabha elections, April 19, April 26, and May 7. The paid holiday provision encompasses a wide array of sectors including factories, plantations, shops and commercial establishments, establishment for public entertainment or amusement, contractors' establishments, farms and other industries, workshops, commercial and business establishments, and banking institutions. Scheduled across three phases, the general election to Lok Sabha 2024 in Asham will commence on April 19, followed by subsequent phases on April 26 and May 7. Under the notification, the benefits of the paid holiday extend to registered voters in the polling constituencies, even if they are employed outside the constituency. This provision aligned with Section 135B of the RP Act 1951. Furthermore, voters from neighboring states working in adjoining districts of Assam will also be entitled to paid holiday benefits on the day of polling in neighboring states. In the event of repoll, the paid holiday provision will continue to apply as per directives from the election department. Three individuals from Kerala were discovered deceased in a hotel room in Zero, Arunachal Pradesh. The victim have been identified as Naveen Thomas, Devi B and Arya B Nair, all hailing from different parts of Kerala. 
According to reports received at the Jiro police station on April 2nd, Navin Thomas had checked into the hotel with his wife, Debbie B, and a friend, Arya B. Naya, on March 28. Concern arose when hotel staff noticed the absence since April 1. Upon suspicion, hotel staff inspected the lock room and upon breaking in, made a discovery of all occupants' deceased. The victims were found in various locations within the room. Arya B. Naya, aged 29, from Sri Regam Trivandrum, was found on the bed with her wrist cut. Debbie B. aged 39, from Minadam Kotaya, was found on the floor with cut marks on her neck and wrist. Navin Thomas, also aged 39, from Mina Dam Kotayam, was discovered in the bathroom with a cut on his left wrist. Initial investigation suggests a tragic conclusion, indicating a possible case of suicide. Navin Thomas and Debbie B were identified as husband and wife. The district police, in connection with the forensic experts, conducted a thorough examination of the scene, collecting pertinent evidence. Post-mortem examinations are slated for the following day. Three case under Section 174 of the Criminal Procedure Code, CRPC, have been registered with investigations entrusted to Sub-Inspector J. Doe. Furthermore, it has been coming to light during preliminary investigations that Arya B. Naya had a missing first information report, a fire registered against her in Trivandrum. More on the news. The rank and the fall of Congress Party in Eastern Nagaland have played support to the Jain Moho resolution, spearheaded by the Eastern Nagaland People's Organization, ENPO. This resolution staunchly advocates for the non participation of the region in both central and state elections until the long standing issue of the frontier Nagaland territory. FNT is effectively addressed by the Ministry of Home Affairs under the NDA regime. Expressing deep-seated discontentment, the Eastern Nagaland Congress issued a press release condemning the recurrent false assurances meted out by the BJP government and decrying the delaying tactics employed by the NDA leaders. These tactics, the party asserted, have been strategically orchestrated to entice voters all while failing to deliver on promises made. In a decisive move echoing the statements of the ENPO and tribal leaders, the Eastern Nagaland Congress has resolved to abstain from participation in both central and state elections, aligning itself firmly with the common cause championed by the ENPO. The significance of the stance is highlighted by the upcoming joint coordination meeting conveyed by the ENPO scheduled to take place on April 6 at 10 a.m. at KU Hall, Montong. In the ongoing war against drugs campaign initiated by the government of Nagaland, law enforcement authorities have successfully apprehended one of the prime accused, Bahar Udin, in connection with a high-profile criminal case. The arrest took place in Sonitpur, Assam, alongside the detention of two other individuals from Dimapur, Nagaland and Imphal, Manipur. Bahar Udin, son of Nur Udin, emerged as a job figure in the nefarious trade of narcotic substances across the northeast region. Operating primarily from Dimapur Nagaland, his network spans across Manipur and Assam, with a complex supply chain facilitating the procurement and distribution of illicit substances. Various agencies have registered multiple cases against him, citing his involvement in trafficking ganja and sunflower, shanflower heroin across the nation. Following the arrest, intensive investigations have been underway with Nagaland police conducting extensive searches across Dimapu to gather crucial evidence. Seizure include incriminating documents, bank-related materials, multiple SIM cards under fictitious names, and communication devices, setting light on the intricate workings of the illicit enterprise. Preliminary findings indicate that Bahar Udin has orchestrated the trafficking of over 800 soap cases of sunflower, shanflower heroin from suppliers based in Manipur over the past 6 to 10 months. Furthermore, his involvement in the ganja trade dates back to 1995, prompting a thorough examination of his role in past and present cases of narcotics trafficking.
the Nagaland State Disaster Management Authority and SDMA. In collaboration with the Indian Meteorological Department, IMD, Regional Office in Guwahati has issued a weather advisory for the state of Nagaland. Citizens are urged to exercise caution as heavy rainfall, thunderstorms and gusty winds are predicted to persist in the region until April 16, 2024. According to the advisory, areas including Perin, Dimapur, Kohima, Fek, Woka, Junheboto, Kifir, Mokokchung, Shamator, Tashem Minyu, and Duenshang are expected to experience heavy rainfall, accompanied by strong winds and lightning in isolated places. The maximum temperature is forecasted to be around 31 degrees Celsius, while the minimum temperature may dip below 11 degrees Celsius in hilly areas. The NSDMA has outlined the potential impacts of the inclement weather, including poor visibility leading to traffic congestion, temporary disruption in traffic due to water lodging and uprooted trees, partial damages to kacha houses and huts, and the possibility of landslide causing damages to vulnerable structures. Additionally, heavy rainfall may adversely affect crops in the majority stage. The Ministry of Defence had to shoot an eulogy on the death of World War II veteran Subedar Tansia, who died of a heart attack on March 31 at the age of 102 years. Subedar Tansia was born on July 13, 1923 at Mizoram's Raulung village. He was the eldest of seven children born to Shuak Liana L and Kapjingi L and joined the 1st Assam Battalion on December 1, 1941. He married Lal Tan Zami, who passed away on October 3, 2009. They have four sons. After his wife's death, he lived with his youngest son, H. Lal Duhuma, and got grandchildren, Cindy Liang Ding Pui and baby Liang Shang Pui. Tan Xia retired from the Assam Regiment on December 16, 1969, with the rank of Sabada during World War II, 1944-1945. The Subedar was always proud of being able to fight for the sake of his country and nation and was among the Indian soldiers who bravely fought and defeated the Japanese soldier who won great victories. He was involved in all six battles of honor won by the Assam Regiment on Jasami Day. Jasami Day, the victory of the 1st Battalion Assam Regiment in the World War II, is the most memorable day of the 1st Battalion Assam Regiment. In 1972, he was appointed as Talang Nuam Village Council President, a locality in Aizol South. He requested the establishment of a post office where he worked as postmaster. He voluntarily obtained telephone connection and the public paid rupees one for its uses. He passed away at Jorah Medical College on 31st March after being admitted to the ICU on 24 March. Now let's take another short break. Stay tuned for further news. Planning to study outside Manipur? Are you confused about your college or university selection? After 12, Manipur Edu Online provide assistance to help you. College or university selection, admission guidance, career counseling. Don't delay. For more details, kindly log into our website www.manipuridu.online or you can also call us at 7628960947. Success for your children. Get enrolled to one of the finest schools in Northeast India, UNECO School. Excellence in Education. Diabetes Colonia de Hingliba Singh Tamagi Manunda control to Bangamle. Urea, Cretin and Wangosu Tamagi Manunda Hantabangamle. 
Pastor Ngha Manungay Tabasu numit mga nagi manung da fahan bangam lay. Pail saibadi nung sang nabasu chama da chama fahan bangam lay. Kolesterol wang ba numit kunida normal oi bangam lay. BP wang basu thama gi manung da normal oi bangam lay. Fatty liver oi basu thama gi manung da fagat hang bangam lay. Pum namag natural oi ba hida makal na laing javani. Hag chang da soka da ba side effect amatalay te. Makata na hidak chama gi matau su tararoy. Hei na kupaparol gi damag na si Mark Langston bira u Diabetes Hospital Sodom Lekai ayang paliroch opposite Karkinos Jennings Hospital Porompat in Fall East near Punjab National Bank. Welcome back from the break. You're watching LHT Fingers News. 16 hours after Sonali branch Bank branch was dropped in Vanderbans, Ruma, Upa, Jila. Armed robbers have attacked two more banks in Thanchi, Upa, Jila, Bangladesh. Two vehicles full of armed men swarmed into the neighboring branches of the Bangladesh Krishi Bank and Shonali Bank in the Upa, Jila around 12.30 p.m. on Wednesday, said Krishi Bank branch manager Hala Shui Twai. In a blink of an eye, they entered and took everyone inside the bank hostess. They corralled everyone into a room and locked the door. The Krishi bank manager was unable to say whether they had looted money from the bank. We are not yet sure what they did inside the bank, he said. We'll be able to say for sure once we look at everything. The bank manager said that the neighboring branches of Sonali Bank had also been attacked. However, BDNews24.com was unable to get a statement from officials at the bank. We have received a report that a bank in Tanji was attacked a so 12 ago, said Bandarban's additional superintendent of police crime, Abdul Karim. We believe the group from yesterday is responsible. There have been no developments regarding the investigation into yesterday's incident. More than 100 men took part in the attack on the Sonali Bank branch in Ruma Upa. Jailers Sardar area around 9 p.m. on Tuesday. At least 20 people, including officials and security personnel, were assaulted and the branch manager, Nijam Udin, was kidnapped. Law enforcers believe members of the separatist Hill tribal group, Kukichin National Front, or KNF, better known as the Boam Party, were involved in their attacks. On the other hand, Bangladesh Home Minister Asa Dujaman Khan told media persons about the incident and said there is involvement of Kukichin National Front, KNF. The necessary action will be taken up according to the law of the land, he added. In a tragic incident that struck Maharashtra Chhatrapati Sambaji Nagar's seven lives, including two children, were claimed by a massive fire that broke out early today. The blaze, originating from a tailoring soap around 4 m sent soap waves through the neighborhood. Authorities confirmed that among the victims were three women, two men, and two children, making a heartbreaking toll on the community. Despite prompt response from firefighters who swiftly worked to contain the inferno, the flames proved fatal before they could be fully subdued. Manoj Lohia, the police commissioner of Sambaji Nagar, disclosed that the fire had its origin in the alarm tailor's saw. While the residents of floor above were spared from the flames, suspicions arise that the victims may have succumbed to smoke inhalation. At around 4 a.m., a fire broke out in a clothing soap in the cantonment area of Chatapti Sabja Sambaji Nagar. The fire did not reach the second floor, but after a preliminary investigation, which in seven people died due to suffocation. The reason behind the fire is yet not clear. For the investigation is underway, stated Commissioner Lohia. The incident has left the community in mourning with authorities launching a thorough proof to ascertain the cause of the fire and prevent such tragedies in the future. More on the news. The Enforcement Directorate ED has intensified its probe into the alleged case for a query scandal involving Trinamool Congress leader Mahua Moitra, filing a second money laundering case against her sources tribute. 
This latest legal development adds to Moitra's mounting legal challenges, with the first case already linked to discrepancies in the foreign exchange contravention. Despite three summons issued by the ED, Moitra has yet to appear before investigators in response to the initial case. The recent move by the ED comes in the wake of Central Bureau of Investigation, GBI, filing a first information report a fire against Moitra. Following directives from the anti-corruption ambushment Lokpa, the investigation stems from allegations made by Bharatiya Janata Party BJP Lok Sabha member Nishikant Dubey, who accused Moitra of exchanging parliamentary questions for cares and gifts from Dubai-based businessman Darshan Hiranandani. Moitra, a former Lok Sabha member of Parliament, MP has consistently denied all charges leveled against her. However, the Lokpa found allegations against her to be extremely serious in nature and has ordered a thorough investigation into the matter. Despite her exclusion from the Lok Sabha in December last year due to unethical conduct, Moitra remains undeterred, challenging her exclusion in the Supreme Court and gearing up for the upcoming general elections. As the TMC's candidate from the Krishnanagar Lok Sabha sheet in West Bengal. The ongoing controversy surrounding Motra has further deepened with allegations of compromising national security for monetary gains, raising concerns about the integrity of parliamentary proceedings. In response to these developments, Motra has maintained her innocence, attributing the accusation to political vendators and asserting her commitment to transparency and accountability. U.S. President Joe Biden condemned the Israeli airstrike that killed eight workers in Gaza and stated that he was outraged and heartbroken. He made the statement on April 3. Israel's investigation on the incident must be swift, it must bring accountability and its finding must be made public, Biden said in a statement. Even more tragically, this is not a stand-alone incident, he said. This conflict has been one of the worst in recent memory in terms of how many eight workers have been killed. Along with the Palestinian and dual citizenship of the US and Canada, the attack on the WCK convoy claimed the lives of citizens of Australia, Britain and Poland. Benjamin Netanyahu, the Israeli Prime Minister, had earlier declared that the incident was sad and unintentional and the Israeli military had promised an impartial investigation. Biden said Israel has not done enough to protect aid workers or civilians in Gaza. The United States has repeatedly urged Israel to deconflict their military operations against Hamas with humanitarian operations in order to avoid civilian casualties, he said. According to Biden, he will continue to press Israel to do more to get aid into Gaza. Upon improvement in the law and order situation in the Valley Districts, curfew has been relaxed till 10 p.m. today in Imphal East, Imphal West, and Taubal Districts. In Kakching District, curfew has been relaxed till 8 p.m. today. However, in Bishnupur District, curfew has been relaxed till 5 p.m. today. Traffic is seen as usual on the roads, shops and markets remain open. People were seen purchasing essential items during the curfew relaxation. For LATB News Channel, contact to the email address info at LATB.in or 940-289-0982 and subscribe to LATB YouTube channel or follow on Facebook page, Instagram and X for more information about the channel. Now before we wrap up, let's look at the headlines once again. Anybody who fails to give vote to T.H. Bashanta will be considered as teacher, says Chief Minister and Biden. Thoughts rally taken out at various places, demanding normalcy before election. Assam's former IPS officer Anand Mishra to contest elections independently after BJP denies ticket. (laughs) 
ED files second money laundering case against DMC leader Mahal Moitra. Joe Biden outraged and heard broken by Israeli airstrike in Gaza. And curfew relax in Nepali's West Tobal districts till 10 pm, for Kakching district till 8 pm in Vishnupur district. Curfew has been relaxed till 5 pm today. That's all we have for news at 3. We'll be back with more news at 6 p.m.